Hi, you guys. Welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weeks of March 18th through the 31st, 2018. Um, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards before filming to save time. Uh, so let's go ahead and begin here. And I put emphasis on that just because of comments left in regards to me not shuffling on camera. What difference does it make anyway? It's accurate or it's not. It doesn't matter. Um, but these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, uh, but hopefully they do. And also I want to thank all of you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. I appreciate you guys that have ordered your private and personal readings from me. And, um, you know, all your love and support is much appreciated. Now, also at the end of the reading, I'll be pulling uh, four additional cards. Um, what am I talking about? Four, four? I'll pull however many I feel comfortable. <laughs> um, one for singles and one for couples. Um, I'll be pulling from the holographic tarot deck for that and then the romance angels deck and this week i am using crystal visions tarot all right let's go ahead and get started here central issue i have the star six of swords high priestess five of cups Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and Seven of Swords. Okay, so you guys, with the central issue being the star, there's a few things that I'm picking up on. One of them is that I feel like you're in love with someone who is at a distance from you or far away from you. Uh, for some of you, this is like a fantasy or fantasy crush. Um, and then for others of you, maybe it's just like a long distance relationship. If you are not apart from this person, if you guys are together, then this is more so about um, one person who is maybe putting more into the relationship than the other person. Maybe you are putting yourself out there, pouring your heart out. Um, also for some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I feel though that you are receiving blessings or you're praying uh, for something to happen. If you've been uh, putting things out into the universe or, you know, praying overall, I do feel like the universe is going to respond to your prayers. For some of you, I'm picking up a telepathic connection that you have with someone. You guys are able to tap into each other's minds. Um, you you can send and deliver messages to one another. There is something very dreamy about this connection. Or maybe you feel like something is too good to be true or something is a fairy tale. As a reminder uh, of hope, you know, if you have been losing hope in a situation or having a lack of faith, this is a reminder for you to continue to have faith in a situation because dreams do can come true. Wishes do come true. It all depends on how much you're willing to invest in this prayer. Um, also, for some of you, I'm just feeling like you're... Um, putting a lot of your energy into other people. Uh, also with the star here, I'm picking up that someone has been sharing information 
on the internet. Um, maybe posting up pictures or uh, posting some sort of uh, ambiguous messages for the other person to see. Um, so there is some sort of um, maybe secretive communication. Either you are very a very gifted person, someone who is a medium, uh, psychic or empath, and you're able to share your gift with the world, share your gift with other people, or this is the energy of the other person because I'm also picking this up too with this being next to the high priestess. And also you're being asked to uh, follow your intuition, listen to your intuition. The high priestess is a reminder that you don't really need to look outside for answers because the answers are within. So whatever it is that you're trying to, um, uh, the, whatever you're asking yourself or you're wondering about, and maybe you're thinking about going to a reader or a psychic, this is saying you already know the answer to that. Maybe you still want confirmation, uh, which is fine, but deep down inside, you already know the answer. Um, so you're being asked to just have patience and to trust your intuition. Um, for some of you, maybe this has already happened. Um, I'm seeing that for some of you, you have premonitions that came into fruition. Um, I'm seeing a lot of spiritual energy here for you guys for whatever reason. I don't know if you're having a spiritual calling or awakening, but there's something that is going on. I do feel like a lot of you, for a lot of you guys, messages were delivered in your dreams or if you've been dreaming about this person, this is their way of communicating with you and you guys could be uh, exchanging messages with each other uh, through metaphysical things uh, such as uh, astral travel or you know just thinking about that person and then all of a sudden they're calling you and things of that sort now I'm also picking up that someone may be missing you or maybe you're missing someone here because we have the five of cups and for some of you um, you may be too focused on the things that you have lost. I'm seeing offerings being made to you. For some of you, someone is offering an apology and the apology is being ignored. Uh, someone is like, you really hurt my feelings or you really broke my heart. It could have been some sort of third party situation and somebody is wondering how they even allowed themselves to get into a, a situation like that. So you're being very emotional here. And if, I don't know. So if, if this isn't you, this could be your partner. But I'm feeling like someone is trying to offer an apology or say they're sorry. But uh, the other person is just like, I don't really want to hear it right now. I'm not ready. Someone is still just kind of focusing on the things that transpired that were not uh, positive here and I'm feeling like a lot of you feel like you've kissed a lot of frogs you're saying like I've kissed so many frogs when am I ever going to find my prince so you're feeling a little bit disappointed um, also remember that once you come out of these sorrows or whatever you know once you're ready the offer still stands I feel too that the universe has sent you two soulmates two Two possibilities. Maybe one is a twin flame, one is a soulmate. Um, but there's two options that I'm feeling like you're having. If it doesn't work out with, with one person, um, there are uh, there are two other people for you. Also, I'm feeling like um, one could be. The, the one offer is someone new and then the other offer is a, a chance to renew what you had with, with someone from the past. And I'm seeing someone come in really quickly with uh, a message here. They heard you. They know, they know that you want to hear from them. And they hear you. They see your ambiguous messages. They're coming in. Um, eventually this person could be an air sign so um, Libra Gemini Aquarius um, or 
they have those air type qualities someone who's very intellectual someone who's always thinking outside the box or has unusual an unusual way of thinking um, but I feel like this person hears you kind of beckoning to them or like they're like I said that telepathic connection and they're coming towards you now also here I have uh, the Queen of Pentacles so you could be dealing with an earth sign uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo but this person has something about them that maybe is secretive or uh, there is something mysterious to this person that could be why you're attracted to them this person is a healer or they have the uh, those type of qualities I feel like this person also values money. They value their appearance. This is someone who always likes to keep up their appearance. And they also like to keep a mystery about themselves. This person may also be someone who's very um, healthy. And for some of you, you're hiding the fact that you have a, a, a gift, a spiritual gift. Or is your the person that you're dealing with or the person that you're interested in um, is keeping that kind of quiet or maybe you know they have a gift and they but they um, they downplay it or um, it's like they downplay it or they they're not telling you how to the extent their gift is maybe it's very powerful and they just try to act like oh yeah you know yeah, I, I can hear, I can feel what people feel, but other, but they also can see spirits and actually have conversations and things like that, but they don't want to really uh, put that out there. So they keep a, a little mystery to them. Also, they may keep a mystery about their finances as well. Also, some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, so... Um, Another Aries such as yourself or a Leo or a, um, a Sagittarius. There is some sort of cover up or deception going on where someone is not being 100% honest. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be like um, cheating or anything like that. But maybe someone is not telling the truth about something or they only told you partial truth or maybe their intentions are not the best for those of you that may be dating more than one person out of these two or three people one of them might have an ulterior motive so look out for that for others of you this is either you going to a reader or a psychic to find out information about the other person or they're doing this to you because someone wants to be fully informed someone is trying to prepare to come at you or you might be trying to prepare yourself to come at this person or to know how to handle this person and when I say come at you, I mean preparing for more so like a confrontation of some sort. So someone is uh, kind of like gathering their weapons and getting everything together so that they can be prepared. I would be careful of, of the fire sign if you're dealing with a fire sign. Okay, so now it is showing up here. Let me just put this over here. Um, I am seeing a third party situation for some of you. So either you are trying to keep it quiet that you're um, or sneaking around with someone else or this is happening to you. I'm seeing a lot of temptation. There is somebody that's attached to another person or you yourself might be stuck in a situation where you know 
you know a third party is involved, but you're having a hard time letting go uh, of this situation here. Uh, I am seeing a lot of temptation. And it's, it's almost like you keep falling for it. Like this person is so romantic. They're very attractive. Um, they know how to play on those heartstrings. They're the forbidden fruit. This is just not being able to let go of this person or this situation no matter how... Um, how toxic it could be or the, even the fact that maybe they're stuck in some sort of marriage or whatever and see I feel like this person they, they, they're playing you like a, like a flute or they're, I'm noticing how both of these people are playing an instrument the devil back here is playing an instrument and that's why I said if those of you that are uh, dealing with a fire sign um, to be careful because I feel like it's connected to the deception is connected to a fire sign doesn't have to be um, or this could be you Aries you know you know what you're doing um, you know what to do in order to get this this person to come to you you play them well you know them well <sighs> sorry yeah and you just know how to draw uh, that type of person to you. For some of you, you're trying to hold on to three different people. You want all of them. And for some, be careful because there could be someone who is a narcissist. And they're not really caring about other people's feelings. They just are looking out for themselves. This person goes around and they have to have... Uh, a taste of each person. Each person is like a different fruit for them. Um, you could be dealing with people that's all um, different from you and it's like, oh, I, I've got to taste this. I've got to taste that. Oh, everything looks so delicious. I just want to taste some, you know, something from all of you. And again, like I said, this could be the person that you're dealing with. Uh, I feel like you are going to get confronted or someone's getting ready to confront you and the words that they use might be kind of harsh. But it's like, you you cut me, you hurt me, so I'm going to cut you right back. I don't care. This is someone who doesn't care about your feelings at this point. They just want either revenge or they just want to get their, their point across. And they don't care how it comes out. For some of you, I feel like you have been um, carrying a lot of weight on your shoulders. There's a lot that you've been... Um, you've been taking on a lot of tasks or burdens or you might be carrying a heavy burden on your back. Some of you feel like you're fighting an uphill battle, but you're pushing through this situation. You're pushing uh, until the finish because you're a strong person. Or maybe this is the person that you're dealing with. I do feel like you're going to have abundance here with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I feel like for some of you... For some of you, you're having like an abundance of wealth or whatever it is that is valuable to you. Um, for some of you, you might be getting involved with someone who is a gold digger or you yourself might be a gold digger. For some of you, you could be dealing with someone who is in a high position or a wealthy position, but there's something um slick about this person or they they're good they have positive and negative qualities uh you know and that's just like everyone though but i can see like a slick side to them and then i see a nurturing side to them for some of you too i feel like you may be getting ready to meet the in-laws of your partner you're getting ready to meet their family. I'm also seeing the possibility of some of you dealing with your boss or supervisor. You work for them. It's a burden that you know they have an established family somewhere else, but like you're their mistress. Um, and this is a secret that you guys have to um, 
carry and it's a burden sometimes be careful who you tell things to because there is the possibility that someone could be gossiping about you so um, be mindful about the type of inf information that you're sharing with someone especially at work um, and for others of you I'm picking up that someone that you you are close to is keeping something from you or they have ill intentions or they might be a fair weather friend or someone who who is just pretending to be a friend you might need to just disregard this group period they might portray themselves as being your friend but they're they're being phony behind your back or talking about you behind your back all right so i really could go on but that's enough for now um what additional messages are there for single aries what additional messages are there for single Aries? Five of Cups is showing up again. So you guys um, could be disappointed and the way something happened maybe you found out that your crush was already attached to someone um, maybe you feel let down or maybe you're um, still crying about the past for some of you you may you it may be that you're just missing someone from your past missing an ex or feeling sorry for yourself um, especially here I have the moon as the base here so a lot of you could be dealing with uh, anxieties and uh, being over emotional um, but for some of you you're you could be an empath and your your sadness is coming from other people um, not necessarily from yourself but you, you're just sensitive to other people's feelings and emotions and um, you know you get to feeling sad or down about it uh, but for some of you I do feel like maybe you're missing an air sign and they are getting ready to make some sort of contact with you they want to work things out or um, if not necessarily to get in a relationship at least they want to make things right or resolve some sort of uh, miscommunication or explain themselves or something all right so what additional messages are there for Aries couples Additional messages for Aries couples. Um, almost a similar message. I feel that if someone has done you wrong, they're either getting ready to offer an apology, um, but this is getting back emotional, emotionally balanced. Uh, you guys may be supporting one another, um, showing or giving uh, what something to the other person what they need or deserve. So you guys could be. Um, supportive of each other's needs because maybe one person had been putting more into the relationship than the other person so now maybe they're trying to balance things out or you guys are you know just overall trying to uh, balance out uh, the relationship or the finances or anything but you're trying to balance something out here uh, for some of you, you could be uh, dealing with another fire sign such as yourselves or this could be you being the one um, that is listening and giving your partner what they ask for or what they need here yeah for some of you too you're receiving an inheritance uh or a, a gift or a settlement because i saw that in the the reading too with the ten of pentacles so for some of you this is some sort of court order and it could it could be dealing with finances or it could be dealing with family or uh legacies or things of that sort especially like custody over being awarded custody over uh, the kids or something or anything um, 
let's just say whatever that whatever you wanted you're going to get and it's going to be a fair decision or you're going to feel like okay I guess this is fair okay so additional messages for airy singles codependency and we did have the devil card come out so for some of you you could be stuck in a relationship only because it is um um convenient or you know for stability or because that person has money and you don't is is holding on to something out of fear because you don't know what will happen if you were to let this person go or if that person were completely out of your life um so there is some sort of codependency uh relationship and i know this is for singles but maybe somehow is still kind of tied into to, to the other situation like maybe you're dealing with someone that is already in um, a committed relationship also if you're single overall just watch your your eating habits your spending habits because you might be projecting your uh troubles in the form of a of a habit so like drinking too too much uh spending too much eating too eating your emotions you know so you could be doing things of that sort so just if you're not dealing with anyone and you're single then codependency for you maybe has something to do with those things that i just said here um now also if you're single but dating it says pay attention to the red flags because and like I said I felt like somebody in that group um, could be a narcissist or that maybe you know they have somebody else their intentions aren't clear or they aren't being 100% honest um, this, and for some of you I am seeing that either you are a gold digger well that's how you're perceived I should say uh, or you're dealing with someone that's a gold digger or only is after you for your money so even women you know if you have like a lot of wealth maybe you're dealing with someone who's only after your finances or your wealth here because we have finances and career here or maybe you just want to sleep with someone because of their status or vice versa so something like that could be going on uh, for those of you that are single uh, let's see what additional messages are there for Aries couples. Okay, so for Aries couples, I'm saying the heart of the situation is keep an open mind. So you may be in some sort of unusual third party situation. Um, and especially we had that seven of swords come up. So maybe you are dealing with a third party in this like you feel like you can't let them go because you feel like this person is your true love. And maybe they are. Um but you know it still could be that a third party situation and this person this is confirmation that this person is a soulmate this is a deep connection that you might have with someone that telepathic that spiritual connection um it, and, and it doesn't have to be a third party situation this could just overall be uh the person that you're um that you're with this is just confirmation that this person is a soulmate your true love um but there's something going on in your relationship where you need to keep an open mind maybe one person uh doesn't understand the spiritual connection um and or maybe your partner like i said with you or your partner could be uh, psychic or have some sort of gift and maybe they're trying to express this to you and you're one of those people who is a skeptic uh, or maybe you're dealing with the conspiracy theorists. So just keep an open mind because this person, don't judge them, whoever you're with. Because I'm feeling like, you know, this is this is a genuine 
connection, romantic feelings. So those of you that are already in relationships, there is some uh, pretty romantic things going on. All right, so you guys, this has been a general reading. Uh, for your private reading, you would email namat76 at gmail.com. Um, that information is in the description box below. You guys, don't forget to like my videos. Uh, please remember to continue to share. Share on your Facebook or any other social media platforms. Um, and, you know, thank you guys for your love and support. Many blessings to you.